Cells are very fragile biological units. For them to stay healthy, their internal environment must be tightly regulated. This is known as homeostasis. Sometimes these cells will encounter physiological or pathophysiological stresses, such as an increased or decreased workload or an increased exposure to harmful chemicals, such as smoking. So these cells will need to adapt to these stresses to survive. Some of the ways they can do this is hypertrophy, hyperplasia, atrophy, or metaplasia. I've done a video on that, so please watch that if you haven't already. Now, if this adaptive ability of the cell isn't sufficient, or the stressor is too strong or produced for too long, this can lead to cell injury. Now, other more direct ways of cell injury is known as injurious agents. A way you, you can remember these injurious agents is the term hating. Now, your cell will be really hating these things because these will lead to cell injury. So what does hating stand for? Well, firstly, H is for hypoxia. Hypoxia or ischemia is a reduction in blood flow or oxygen to cells, which will cause injury. A is for aging. So as we age, our ability to adapt reduces and more likely to lead to injury. T would be trauma or toxins. So some examples would be physical trauma, burns, exposure to chemicals like alcohol. I would be infection, so infections, viruses, bacteria, fungi, or I can also be immunological. So this would be autoimmune or hypersensitive disorders that lead to injury. N would be nutrition or lack of nutrition, so particularly lack of enough proteins or certain vitamins that will lead to cell injury. And finally, G for genetic. And this where you may have abnormalities in genes that code for proteins, such as the, the protein for chloride channel. And this leads to a problem in chloride regulation seen as cystic fibrosis. So these are the most common agents that cause cell injury. If these are removed, the cell injury can be reversible and it can go back to a normal homeostasis. However, if these agents are prolonged or very severe, it can lead to an irreversible injury. And this is where disease will ensue. The two types of irreversible injury are apoptosis and necrosis. Mike has done a video on that, so I encourage you to have a look.